Welcome to the StockMatter.com studios here in the Black Hills of South Dakota. I'm your stock matter, Brian Johnson, making professional trading simple. We have about three minutes left in the uh, day, but I really doubt we're going to see anything major happen here, just as we have not seen anything happen all day. Been very stale. I thought maybe the beige book would move it today, move the markets one direction, but nothing. Flat across the board, so exactly more of what we've been seeing in the uh, past. And that's now, uh, it's just a move up, move sideways, move down, move sideways, move up, move sideways. The thing that's changing now is that the Dow has officially moved into more of that sideways trending action like the S&P is doing. We've been marking that for a while. So you can see these thinner blue lines have given us this uh, this little channel we were following for a while. We broke that channel. We're not able to break this support down here. And now we're right back up to resistance. We did get a little bit of a head fake today. Uh, I was looking for one more attempt. I did try to go long above this area here and was stopped out uh, shortly after for a small loss down kind of right below this area here. So markets are not quite ready to move to new highs yet, and nothing's going to make them do that in the near-term future. Well, not today, anyway. So we'll continue to watch the near-term future for any big move. This is my new channel, my new uh, trading range for the Dow. And I'm able to draw in these lines today, got some more information. So now, with this, I have a new... There's the bell. I have a new trading range. We will just update this to show you we didn't go anywhere. Uh, so we're still watching for a break above this 10.5 area or a break down here below 10.250. Ultimately, really, below 10.200 is kind of the bigger area for the Dow to get below. So guess what? Lather, rinse, repeat. Uh, it's the same stuff I've been saying for the last couple weeks because nothing's been changing. Here's that trend here. You can see uh, this move uh, sideways today is similar to what we've seen in the past. Watch if I blow this up to about, oh, let's make it two months. You can see it has moved up uh, here sideways for two days, back down uh, for one day. Uh, back up sideways for two days, back down for one day. So up for two days now one more day of this before I'm a move down I don't know I sure uh, ultimately we're just still waiting for this break above this area now a retest of this upper trend line uh, will of course uh, signal for me another shorting entry it's held so far no reason to think that it won't going into uh, going into the future NDX on a 60 minute doing the same thing too. Not able to hit its highs. You'll notice that the SPX and the Dow got up and over its previous highs. The NASDAQ not faring so well. Not quite able to get back up to its highs. So in this, uh, in the terms of current charting, it is lagging ever so slightly behind the rest. Let's keep in mind though that it is up uh, a, a lot over the last few months. And actually a it's, it's up more than what the other indices have been up. But in, in the last few weeks, if we just take that uh, data, you can see that it is kind of lagging behind the other ones, not able to close back up and above inside this rising wedge, uh, which I actually like. That lends even more credence to this trend line I have drawn in here. So I'm, I'm really happy with what I'm seeing there from a trend line standpoint. But the NASDAQ, once again, retesting this uh, lower trend line on the break. That tells me what? Usually, uh, you know, this is usually a kiss of death up in here. Uh, I am a little bit uh, curious about the volume I have seen the last few days on this move to the upside. But I don't know if it's going to make that big of a difference in the overall picture. NDX on a weekly, once again, still only Wednesday. I'm not going to worry too much about that. However, have not been able to break this overhead resistance yet. That's about that 1815 mark we're watching in the 60 minute. SPX on a 60 minute, you can see at 1085 to about 11, 12, whatever up here, you can see the head fake today. Good volume on this break, too. Really thought that this might have been the next move higher. And it just didn't work out. The buyers just, that they weren't able to hold it. So still stuck in this trading range, moving sideways. 
as such until we break this level again and I, I'll probably try again sometimes it takes a while to break these uh, tougher areas of support or resistance so I'll probably try again if it tries to break this tomorrow uh, on a daily you can see that we are still working within this larger channel I've got trend lines all over the place but let's do this see this larger blue line here and this this blue line here that's uh, kind of our new uh, channel that we're watching on the SPX in the orange area here is your trading range uh, currently and until proven otherwise this is all still bullish behavior so it's setting up this would just be maybe a longer term high base but it is uh, until this area down here is broken this has to be looked at the bias has to go to the bull side so keep that in mind as we progress further into December from a weekly standpoint once again broke pulled back now starting to move up still Wednesday let's see uh, break above 1115 I'll bet puts us right up in this area by the end of the week that's about that 1125 probably to 1130 area VIX on a daily continued uh, fear coming out of the market so there was a lot of nervousness on the Dubai news but once the uh, news was squelched and the government said oh no 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 everything's fine the fear just kind of poured out of the market so right now nobody's nervous about a major move down as of yet uh, so the VIX just is continues to tell us that yeah we're really not worried about where we're at and where we're going uh, as it dives again today VIX on a weekly once again pushing down towards this uh, towards this line here looking for this big fat green one maybe before this is all over especially if investors just don't see any fear or any big moves to the downside returning to the market there's no reason that this can't reach these lower levels eventually Apple on a 60 minute this is the one that just continues to fail it just is really struggling right now I know there was some news that came out